Welcome back. Once again, we are delving into the ever-sinking depths that is Joshiraku. What the tale is going to be this time is questionable as ever. Whether or not things actually make sense is... actually set in stone. We know it's going to be absolute nonsense. It's just how much of our sanity is going to be left by the end of it. Joshiraku has been a cavalcade of small skits and jokes that are compressed into 25 minutes of insanity that sometimes make sense, sometimes makes you question things, but most of the time leaves me scratching my head. If there is one thing though, there's definitely things that are very memorable about this show. And the ending is uh, just one of those things. But we are rapidly approaching the, I think, the end of this series. So I'm going to have to think about what's uh, what's going to happen next. And with that, I may need your help. So, if you are enjoying this, and you want to see it continue, give me some more ideas. But for now, grab a drink, sit down, and let's begin. I think there's quite a lot to love about this show, but also there's just so much compacted into every few seconds that sometimes it can get a little overwhelming. Especially when I'm not that in touch with Japanese law or, the, or politics sometimes. And I think that um, with the kind of outlying bullshit that this show does, like the mask or that random rabbit that has actually reoccurred once or twice, the fact that this show isn't tethered by any sort of usual story structure or pretty much anything, could it be just another one of their stories that they tell in the during the shows? Is anything real? And like I said right at the beginning, I have seen that these these places do exist, and they're somewhat. That type saying was off, and they're somewhat popular. How many people actually like these kind of Rakugo shows? Okay. We... Oh no. Are you going to be left with... Yeah, a single syllable again. I kind of hope they'd uh, offer me an apology, but okay. She's foisted every opportunity. Mari is uh, the true victim in all of this. Well, we've seen some of the things she's gone through, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, she's just tired. Are they now all going to take good care of her? A lullaby, or are they going to sing some ritual chant to... Hmm. Is that how it works? Shh. Hang on, what's in the background? What? Hang on, first off, why is the... Why is the scene out of the window so uh, 
calming and cold, but also what the hell was going on while they're discussing the plural of nouns. So we're facing dumb faces while the world itself outside is slowly crashing down. And is the event here actually her first dream of the year? Right. Hmm. Republican Western man. I mean, he might just be... What's wrong? Oh, no, Oregon. Yeah, okay. Fair. Well, that's when your body can't handle it anymore and you've... Uh, die. Micro sleeps. <laughs> Is that before or after the hallucinations kick in? Mm. And yet, immediately forgotten about. I think that's quite saying something about the show, where you can have like those moments where you got the giant decoration crash through a wall, almost crush the cast, move on, ignore it, next scene, but also reference back. What is reality? How far down does it go? Are we still in the dream? What would be nice for the... Eggplant? <laughs> but what might be calming for them would not be for her. Yeah, why would her mind come up with such an idea? She must be losing it. Also, do you think she's going to keep the beak after? What's slightly less... Oh no, healthy eating, the worst of all dreams. Uh, tobacco. To be fair, you've got to at least give him the... Give him some props for uh, being able to make all the backgrounds and costumes so quickly. Or maybe they just had it all in the back and they just grab it when they need. Oh no, not again. Arriving mass. Oh. Mm. And to think it's getting down to that fundamental level. We're going atomic, are we? Oh, just... <laughs> Cesium, just add water. And that does remind me, even tangentially, of the Elements song. I think there's two variants, but one of them is the one that I know, which I listen to 
far too much when I was in high school. What? What's wrong with just a bit of colourful awnings and the like? Hmm. <laughs> just leave some salt in a prayer. I do like seeing that they actually get different outfits when they go outside. It's not just the same casual clothes over and over and over again. Huh. That is quite a cool sculpture. How did it get commissioned? Do you want to look up? Hmm. Let's... I kind of like it. <laughs> At least it's a memorable meeting spot. Art is in the eye of the beholder, after all. Hmm. There are some very curious bits of artwork, if you can call it that, that I've seen put up. And the more abstract it gets, the less I give a shit. Little Shop of Horror? Really? That's a, that's a nice reference. Quite an old film. Until you realise what the numbers mean. Ah. The number of death. Is there anything good about their city that they aren't going to start screaming at? A protector. I, I see it. And is this where it tries to protect the hills from them? Yes, just he just give the stone the recognition for doing all of it. This seems actually quite quite pleasant. And where did she get this information? Oh. That's actually kind of interesting as an experiment. If they were brought back down, they suffer no long-term effects. Until there's some drastic uh, mutations or worries. Space tendrils and the like. Oh, the poor fish. The cycle of life. Not something you want to see right in front of your... Right in front of your face. <laughs> it... Animals have it so hard out there in the wild, don't they? And while we pave over hundreds of acres of land to... that used to be theirs... They're showing the cells and a. I don't think some of the. Some of the chat on the screen there was uh, being all too nice to them. Saw a lot of W's. When you're in your 20s. <laughs> uh, is it a time machine? Or is she just trying to... Tr is she going alone? Bring them back something nice.
You know, I've seen Hot Tub Time Machine, so it is possible. You've gone too far back. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, even though I turned my headphones down, my ears, ow. <laughs> I think she has more of a concussion. It was less of a time machine, more of a trip to the hospital. That's neat. They just used the kind of glitter effect to show the the drink pour down from the sides. And suddenly it's all over. Day tripper. Huh. I feel like she got oh, the ephemeral nature of things. How soon they just disappear from our grasp. But yeah, I feel like she got a bit more from that art piece than she really really expected. Some of the nice cars going around in the background. <laughs> Also, you can't have the calming and peaceful talks about the aesthetic beauty in things when we've seen other th the other bits that this show tries to get away with. <laughs> I've got a long way to go. It's the... As seen on TV. Um, it will finger worm magic toy things can't remember what they're called <laughs> I think I heard the word play in both languages there and it hurt <laughs> stop shrieking I mean, I've seen South Park, I know where this goes. When are they going to start dressing up as a dog and take it to the vets after she gets one in the eye? She has some good core muscles to be able to stay up there. Hmm. <laughs> Subterfuge. I feel like there is one true ninja on the screen, and it's the one we can't see. Huh. That's just <laughs> safe from the blast as well. Makes somewhat of a <laughs> good point. The instant face change. If there's one thing this show needs, it's more ghost stories. Uh, yeah, the truth is often more terrifying. Mm. Artifact on the lens, a mistake in <laughs> Yeah, reality is often more scary. It's talking about why is he dressed like this? What kind of pollution is there out in the in the sea at the moment? Really? What's wrong with the red roof to house?
is it you know, I don't believe I'm not one that would believe in the supernatural or ghosts not without any con I've been converted it's been called a loach but I'm not one that to believe in s the supernatural but should we be provided with any absolute proof And why is it always ghosts of, like, the Elizabethan era, or hundreds of years ago? Why don't we get any, uh, tracksuit ghosts who got run over? Exercise video? Ah! Poor music tastes, yes. Popular doesn't mean good. Who is it decided by? The elusive... They who uh, decides everything. Do they have the okay to start... Pa <laughs> to start painting the walls and... Wait, what? We're going to... <laughs> Doraemon type... But the blue double D double die. This maybe try painting it a different colour now. Now the hopefully they didn't use lead based paint. Soldier Blue. So... I do like how it's not all just a consistent blue colour, because they did have different shades of hair before. So they actually taped to the dye differently. I know they say blue is cooling, a cooling colour, but... Nineteen seventy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't say that one too loud. But also, yeah, a world of blue might be hell on some that are possibly colourblind in some way or another. Ah. I would be questioning why they're gathering around such a sight with uh, such earnest. What did I see? It's not the first time that we've been taking a little tour around the city in a show like, well, in this show, actually. Seeing some of those art pieces and what exists. Trying to make me think that uh, what is there around here in, the, in terms of art or something to appreciate like that. I know where I used to live, there used to be something like 80... Well, it changed on the year. Sometimes it was gorillas, other times elephants. They were painted in different styles, scenes. The uh, the creature itself just be a little medium for the art itself. 
hidden around the city. It's like a little treasure hunt. You've got to find them all. I would say the Mario Gorilla was kind of amusing when I saw that one. This show really loves to take its jokes to the nth degree. When you have a idea and just execute it ad nauseum. Yeah, blue. What can we make blue? Just make everything blue. Yeah, absolutely everything blue. Anyways, something can be blue. Surprise! It's stuck mostly to the uh, the literal dying and painting things blue, rather than trying to be the emotional blue atmosphere as well. But Cookatoo would be fairly decent at that. I will say the worst thing to help if you're tired and trying to sleep is a bunch of people chanting in your ear. Whether it be terrifying or just curious about what's actually going on, stimulating your mind and keeping it active, not great. And for someone who suffers from insomnia like she does, they're gonna kill her. Hey, hey, at least that will be a final release. And the small moments of fourth wall breaks that they talk about an anime release. Talk about the studio that has helped get them this far. Um... Or if they just want to dunk on some politicians. It is good that this show has opened itself up to be able to make those kind of references and jokes without it seeming out of place. I'm trying to think... The way that this show derails itself with the jokes or the, the scenes that it goes on with... It's somewhat reminiscent to the really dumb conversations I had when I was a teenager. It was, you think of something, you talk bollocks about it until it's like, hang on, how the fuck did we get here? Maybe some of those would have been actually decent in a little skit, sketch show kind of thing. Damn, wasted so much good material. Lost to the ether. You know, You've really got to be in the right mood to really understand some of the things from the from this show. And I think, granted, as soon as it starts, it forces you into that mindset. Because there's no escape. Even if so much of it goes over my head, some of the references and the like. Or maybe I'm busy trying to contemplate one thing that the show has just done before it moves on to the next thing suddenly. So I've probably missed a joke or two at least. But some shows I have to be in the mood to be able to watch and enjoy. Joshiaku, much like Stockholm Syndrome, forces me in there. By the end of it, you're having fun. This show is the metaphorical hawk that has just stole the baby duck of our attention. But before I lose any more of my mind, maybe I should stop here. I have been somewhat having trouble sleeping recently. Maybe I'll take some of the ideas here and give them a try. Think about vegetables and sheep. I'll report back on their effectiveness. I'm not expecting much. But for now, if you've enjoyed, let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. Consider subscribing to the channel to not miss future uploads. Most importantly though, take care of yourselves. And I hope to see you for the next one. If you'd like to help me survive the harsh truths and reality of this world, consider joining on to my Patreon, because thanks to the likes of Noku, Sal, Guado, Kite, Raywin, Shiwan, Tori Jane and everyone else, I haven't had to worry about the limitations or the circling predators over my head. And if you would like to see more anime, the best way is probably keeping this channel at least partially alive. But for all of you that are following along, I really do appreciate it.